device is charging and the animation is totally like Google Pixel and that is just amazing. And this is the 12th June 2019 build by the way guys of the Havoc OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro. And today in this video I'm going to be showing you what's new like what else is new and what else is different over here and what are the bugs if I could find one. So this is the full review of this latest Havoc OS on the Redmi Note 5 Pro here. So let me just go into the settings panel and show you the about section over here. So if you go into about and have a version here, it shows the version is 2.6. Up top, you see the logo and the version is over here. And the build date, you can see that this is the 12 June 2019 build and official build of course for Vyred or Redmi Note 5 Pro. And the security patch is latest one to June 5th, 2019. So that is pretty much like latest security patch of course. And if you go back, the customizations have been there like always and this has been the most customizable ROM out there for Redmi Note 5 Pro and I would say I miss one thing over here. The MIUI camera have been removed as stock camera. So the MIUI camera is not anymore as default camera over here. By default you get Google camera over here right now. So you don't need to install Google camera and you get the Google camera by default but there is no MIUI camera right now. So if you want to install MIUI camera, you have to install Magisk, then like flash the Magisk module and stuff like that. So that is what I miss that I used to like install Google camera APK, stock camera as MIUI camera. But over here, that's not the case anymore. So that is just gone and I miss that, not gonna lie. This is the stock launcher over here. Let me just go into the settings of this launcher. As you can see, this is the like launcher launcher over here. And if you go into gestures, we do have all the like gestures over here. So double tap to sleep is there. So as you can see, I can swipe down anywhere on the home screen. You can go to the left to get the Google Now cards and double tapping over here makes the phone into sleep. So that is just great. And the launcher is like super smooth, no issues whatsoever. And let me just go like to the settings panel again. And if I go into Havoc settings, we have all the customizations of Havoc. And as you can see, we have the like quick setting panel customization and stuff. Status bar customization is there, so double tap to sleep and brightness control from the status bar is still there. You don't need to worry. And we have the battery style to Android Q and as you can see, the battery icon looks like Android Q kind of. And if you just like swipe down, it, it will just show that the like battery will last until like a uh, time. So that is really good that it is kind of like the Android Q. And we have the battery percentage changing option and stuff and custom logo. Status bar icons are there so you can like enable the headset, bluetooth etc icons from here. So that is just great and 4G icon and stuff is there too. So and Vaulty works fine over here and you even have the like Vaulty click calling recording option and even video calling option is there. So you don't need to worry about anything over here. Vaulty calls on both the sims even dual Vaulty works super fine. And if you go into interface we have the like UI style changing option to pixel or AOSP. And background color, you can change it to light, dark, shady and glassy. And if I put it to glassy, it looks really good. Let me just show you quickly. So as you can see, this is how it looks like and all those stuff like the quick settings panels and stuff like becomes dark and this is how it looks. Pretty dope, I would say. And the quick settings panel becomes a little bit like transparent. So these effects are really good if you are into a really contrasty theme. And over here we have the accent color options too. So you can change the accent colors to like this material palette and use the requested colors. So we have the font manager too. So it just keeps lagging if you open for the first time. As you can see, it's not like lagging anymore. So as you can see, we have a bunch of fonts and there are like plethora of options for fonts. So Havoc OS has been one of the most amazing options for customizations. And yes, it still is. And if you go to the like bottom, we have the like quick setting panel opacity control accent like uh, quick setting header style. You can change like however you want. I changed it to accent best and right now it is blue because the accent color is blue. So that is really good. And you can even change the quick setting toggle styles over here. As you can see, there are a lot of options. You can change the toggle styles of these like toggles. And if you go to edit button of this quick setting toggle, there are like plenty of options over here. You can choose from like the screenshot, screen record, a lot of things are there. And night light is there, so if you just put it to night light, this display will become yellowish like this. So that is really good. And over here, we have the switch appearance changing option to OnePlus and stuff. If you go into ambient display and ambient options, we have the always on display. 
if you want to like use that maybe use that and double tap to check phone is there so let me just put the phone into like lock screen so as you can see it shows this kind of android q styled uh, clock but i'll show you to you later on double tap to sleep on the lock screen works fine now if i double tap on the screen so this is how it looks like and if i double tap one more time this is how it looks like pretty good right so double tap to check phone like works super fine over here and if you go into buttons we have the like power menu customization advanced reboot and stuff is there as you can see advanced reboot is there you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or like whatever you want screen off power button torch is there so as you can see when the screen is off i can just like tap and hold the power button to toggle the torch so that is just really great sometimes it toggles like it turns on my lock screen because my power button is broken let me just go back we have the lock screen customization and one good thing over here is that that we do have this force fingerprint authentication vibration so even after you reboot your phone you can directly unlock your phone with your fingerprint scanner which is not the case with many roms and this feature i miss on like most roms but over here it is present so that is why i like have a quiz it has almost everything and charging info and stuff in the lock screen is there so you don't need to worry if you go into gestures you have all the gestures like you get one plus gestures you get the normal navigation edge gestures and the swipe to take screenshot is there it does not scroll so that is really good and like swipe gesture is there you can customize this right left up down gestures and then you go to notifications we have the heads up disabling options and a lot of stuff like in call vibration options are there inside notifications if you go into misc we have the usb configuration setting option to like file transfer you can disable wake up on charge and this charging animation is the animation which happens whenever you plug in your phone so you can really disable it from here but why would you do that pixel animation for life so over here as you just saw there are plenty of customizations even though i would say the battery life over here is a little bit less when compared to the AOSIP dull faced but yeah the battery life is pretty decent here is a screenshot of the battery life i was getting so let me just show you right now so as you can see this is how the battery settings looks like even over here we have customizations that the battery estimate like thing over here it, you can enable it from this battery settings and smart charging is there and like other things like battery charge warning etc are there and as you can see i got around two hours of screen on time over here right now and i still have 84 percent battery left so i would say here that the battery life have been improved a little bit than the previous havoc os but it is not quite up there with the AOSIP dirt face, I would say. I'm just comparing these two because I just used the AOSIP dirt face recently. And I would say the battery life is a little bit less when compared to that. But don't get me wrong, the battery life is not as bad as it used to be with Ava OS. Now other things like uh, Google Pay and stuff, everything is working fine over here. Right out of the box, you do not need to worry. But by the way, this is the ROM based on the Pi firmware. So you need to flash the Pi like uh, 1031 MIUI firmware. I think it's 1031. I don't remember. Just watch this video over here from the card, and you will see that like how to flash this ROM with the latest Pi firmware and with the latest Pi firmware supported TWRP. And the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well is pretty great over here. And as you can see, I'm playing music over here, and we do have the audio Dirac over here, the Mi audio Dirac, of course. And you can change the like Mi Audio Direct to Youth Edition Mi headphones or whatever you want. And the sound output is pretty dope, I would say. And let me talk about one more thing that if the phone is in vibrate mode, and let me show you that if it's in vibrate mode, I would say the notification vibrations are a little bit harsh to me at least. And you can't control the haptic feedback or like vibration intensity over here. And as you can see, we can expand the volume panels from here and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent normally from here and you can control the volumes of alarm and stuff the ringtone and stuff from here so that is pretty great and face auto unlock and stuff everything is there you don't need to worry and here is a few minutes scanner speed let me just show you as you can see the finger scanner is not like bad it's pretty fast i would say let me just do this as you can see it's pretty decent but again not as fast as AOSIP dot face rom here is the entry score of this rom 
so that is pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now